Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria, where, guys, we're playing as Austria Hungary right now in a very, um, uh, little bit, um, well, plumatic state where, um, we have, like, two big empires squishing up against us. We have the North Germanic Federation over here squishing at, squishing at us from the top. Then we also have the French over here squishing at us from the left side. So, yeah. And both of them could easily kick my butt if they really wanted to, which is above all the scariest thing about this and kind of freaks me out just a little bit. But anyways, I'm not actually going to be focusing in on that because for right now, there's really no point in going after either of these guys because I'm waiting until I get like great war stats before I can do this. And French, you want to be buddies? Seriously, we should totally be buddies. You guys still don't want to be buddies. Okay, I know you guys don't want to be buddies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we gotta find somebody that really wants to be buddies because we don't want to end up dead. <laughs> and while I was looking through the files, guys, I noticed that Denmark had become a great power. I have never seen this before. <laughs> Something like, like I said, like I said, people always people always think that this game doesn't have a lot of options. And granted, in the some cases, I do agree with them. But in a lot of cases, this game is still just as random and unpredictable as actual other, you know, bigger titles of the Paradox franchise. Like for instance, who would have ever guessed that you would see uh, Denmark as a great power in 1858, nonetheless? I mean, you can probably guess around like. Other periods, they might be it, but 1858? Nah, you just couldn't see that coming. So anyway, some people want me to reform right now. They want me to allow uh, socialists to uh, to inhibit my workers, but that's actually a really bad idea. Because then the socialists gain, like, tons of people really quickly, especially since I usually don't get my workers into good conditions. Although, in this game, I'm actually being a good guy, so... You know, like, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm not playing by my usual dictatorship laws. Which I know all you guys love, because you guys love seeing dictators move out in the world. But, like, this Let's Play, if you guys haven't been noticing, I've been, like, you know, I've been, like, strictly, and I mean strictly speaking, just kind of, you know, not trying to be a dictator, not trying to be oppressive against my people, and just trying to become a really great leader. And there's actually a reason for that. That isn't just because I, I want to become a great leader. It's actually more of strategic regions. Reasons? Reasons! Um, mostly because, like, mostly because, like, my empire could not function if we literally had to fight, like, uh, if we had to fight all the time. Well, not, well, not fight all the time, but if we really had to deal with, if we really had to deal with rebels all the time and deal with, like, people all the time and deal with, like, you know, all this high revolt risk all the time, I don't think my em empires could survive. And as much as I love to be that evil dictator that just <laughs> just screws my people over in the long run and basically basically keeps them at a serfdom level, uh, this campaign we could probably do something different because I really don't want it to end. So that's main. So if you guys have been noticing at that my sudden change of like moods in terms of how I usually play Victoria 2, yeah, that's mainly the reason. It's not because like. I have changed it all, and I don't realize that this is probably the better strategy for how you should play Victoria 2. It's mostly because I'm being forced to right now by the game. Which isn't exactly fun, but oh well. So let's see, we have 0.4 infamies, and what that basically translates into my head is I should be at war with someone. So let's see, Serbia, we can't go to war with you because you're probably allied with our good friends, the Russians. No Russians out of- yes! Oh, wait, 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 never mind, never mind, Russ is out, okay, time, time for you to die, time for you to die, Serbia. <laughs> three episodes, three episodes, well, actually, I don't know how many episodes this is, but this is, we finally gonna do it, people, we finally gonna do it, we finally have enough manpower, well, not manpower, we finally have enough everything, basically, to go in and go destroy these guys, oh, I am so enthused. And let's see, we have a Baden alliance, not really worth it. Uh, speaking of which, we should probably start focusing in on making sure, um, making sure that some of these guys are somewhat more accustomed to being my friend. Like a good, a good idea is to keep like a good Serbian alliance. I'm just gonna make, just gonna start investing just a little bit into them. Uh, right now, Greece. I'm right, basically, basically, I'm just competing with the French right now for Greece. Um, actually, you know, let's finish out with the, f 
with the Greeks over here. And then we can start dealing with the rest of these. So I want, I want to make sure that we get the Greeks underneath our control. Um, in terms of these guys, I'm not really too worried about it. You know, if they do try anything, I'm just going to be like, Psh, dead. You guys are dead. So, yeah, there's not really much to really go off of there. And trade, again, none of this really sounds appealing to me. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm definitely not going to give you conscriptions. And the American Civil War has happened. Whoa. Okay, so, uh, how is America's army and how is the Sir Menace? They're coming for us, everyone. Uh, the USA is just hammering it in. They have 83 militia power. Uh, how much does the CSA, oh, gosh. Yeah, these guys aren't gonna win. These guys just aren't gonna win. They have to, they have to be way stronger than that if they want to, if they want to fight the most powerful nation in the world. Like seriously, that that's just not gonna fly. That's just not gonna fly, guys. Okay, sixteen point point eight five infamy. That is fine by me. That isn't too bad to the point where I'm crippling, but it isn't too worse to the point where I'm just gonna freak. Let's see. By the way, we have to be very careful. Yeah, if I want to, by the way, if I want to start doing my Asian plan, I should make sure I just kind of slowly but but surely start invading some of these little African nations. And at some point, we really gotta go take back the Suez Canal from our good friends, uh, Egypt, because that was pretty embarrassing. The fact that I got I got my butt whooped by them. They also seem to be getting crushed in by the uh, Egyptians right now, which I find hilarious. Like the Ottoman Empire in this game is ripped apart and taken to shreds. I mean, all we need is just. Bulgaria to form right here, and we basically have the most powerful state. I mean, we basically have the Turkish Empire. L actually, less than the Turkish Empire, because the Turkish Empire at least owned to right about here. They have even less than that, and somehow it, Russia, uh, somehow the Germans are, are making me mad, which uh, I can't really do much about, because I'm a little nation, and somebody's going to war, because I don't know why France is walking through my land. Okay, France is most likely at war with Russia right now. Let's see. Uh, France is, is intervening in a war to free who? What? Wait. The Ottoman Empire, the, the, what? The German Empire just went to war against the Egyptians to try to free all the cords that Egypt has on Ottomans. Wow. That's gonna be a tough war right there. <laughs> That's going to be, well, not a tough war, it's going to be an interesting war to see. Um, especially since they can't actually get to them at any point in time. Like, you can't actually get through here. It's going to be very interesting to see how they actually do that. Um, what else? We need to start building an army. Yeah, get, get these three cannons built, that way we can attach them to our other units. And now we have good units. And what are you doing in my land, friends? Like, seriously, who are you at war with? No one. Then why are you in my land? Gosh, there should be a rule against that. Like other countries in your, entering your land, that almost sounds like a declaration of war. Oh, uh, oh, and that's no, guys, don't, don't worry, that's not the alarm. That's not the alarm. Oh man, oh man. Uh, there we go. Well, that's just my alarm clock. Sorry about that. Apparently, it forgot to reset itself. So, yeah. You guys got to hear a little bit of annoyingness. Yeah, and I do consider it a little bit annoying. And apparently, I forgot to start upgrading my forts. What the heck? I didn't even realize this. Okay, yeah, you continue the game just at the slowest pace. Egypt, the Oriental Crisis. So, support the Egyptians. Austrian diplomats have been watching the crisis develop for some time now, and the Ottoman Empire Egyptians are at war. It become clear that the empire's whole world. Uh, uh, basically, who do we side with? Uh, do we side with people or do we side with relationships? Uh, I only like this option because, because like, uh, because it gives me prestige. But at the same time, I have a feeling that if I do this event, it's going to get me at war with, with the Germans, which I can't really fight the Germans at this point. I mean, I'm building an army to fight the Germans, but it's still pretty bad. And you guys saw what happened last time we fought against the Germans. It ended in tragedy, to say it, to say the least. So, I mean, we could try it, but I'm just saying this now. I'm just gonna, if, it, if this event turns me against the Germans, I'm going to reverse it, okay? 
because I don't I don't actually know if it's actually gonna get me against the Germans but if it was gonna get me against the Germ Germans I would never support them but let's just try it. let's see let's see so I support them so the Dutch have sent a demand from a diplomatic channel that that we back down from our support of the Egyptians doing so will harm the influence we have gained in Egypt but we would we will not attack oh screw the Dutch <laughs> oh yeah yeah you want you want to mess with me Dutch let's go yeah, I, you want to go, Dutch? Let's go. I want to see you guys actually trying to invade me without the helps of either France or or Germany, okay? I, I want to see this. I want to see what the Dutch can do against me, okay? Yeah, yeah, bring up your dukes, Dutch. Bring up your dukes. <laughs> that, oh, you don't have any dukes? Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Dutch trying to fight me. Oh, gosh, that is like... That should be like a tumble, tumble, uh, tumbler thing. Has, hashtag Dutch try, Dutch fight. Okay, Dutch fight who? They try to fight me and they lose. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, that made me laugh. That made me laugh. Uh, I love when this, and this is probably the best thing about this game is I love when it makes when it can make me laugh about certain things and, uh. You know, the second way I could probably gain influence is, let's see, is anyone I need to ban infancy? And no, everyone's basically hostile to them right now. Uh, Election-wise, we've gained people. Sphere-wise, we've gained people. Let's see. I have so many people in my in my sphere group. I didn't even realize it until just looking at it. Let's see. I have a lot of influence right now with these guys. Oh, they're in my sphere. Ooh. Okay, so. Apparently, we're not going to war with these guys anytime soon. So, it also means that we kind of care what happens to these guys. So, uh, Russia, uh, uh, Germany, back off. These are my little bros. And if they call me in and say that they need help, I'm totally gonna go, I'm totally gonna go try to do something against you. And trust me, it will not be nice. Trust me, it will not be nice. Okay, let's go send up soldiers right over here. This is the army, this is the final army, I believe, that's going to need upgrading at least in terms of have two big good armies next from there we're also going to have to start upgrading these guys too um we can actually start that right now we just need like two hussiers uh yeah because i want to make i don't want to make a four or four by six by eight by eight units that's going to be a little bit harder to manage um cardinal spain's doing pretty good right now like in terms of militaristic power they are doing insanely well and the CSA is obviously collapsing right now because it's obviously in this game cannot survive without the uh, pre-spawn troops. Uh, spheres of influence wise, there seems to be some rebellions. Uh, Egypt, I, I, I'm really shocked I got these guys in my sphere of influence. Like, I wasn't, I was just supporting them just to see, just because I don't like the Ottomans. They're like my main tinkering toys and I just wanted to, I just wanted to screw them over a little bit more. But apparently... Apparently, I somehow became the protectorate of the Egyptians. Totally not a part of my plan, but... Uh, yeah, we're not a protectorate of these guys, so I guess we have to keep them safe. And by safe, I mean, I'm just gonna make sure that... That they don't try to kill me at any point. That's basically what I'm gonna try to do. If they try to kill me at any point, I'm going to get very mad. Let's work harder, because we actually do need working hard stuff. Okay, let's actually increase in speed again, now that I'm paying attention. And I don't have much to do. Alright, you guys go right there. Alright, capitalism! Whatever. It doesn't really matter to me at this point if we choose capitalism or not. Let's see, what are our, what are our people doing right now in terms of stuff? Whoa! Wow! 13% of the population here is like craftsmen. That is usually not true in almost any of my games. 17% actually. Whew, okay, so how is it looking in terms of actual buildings? Let's see, the most factories I have in one region, Ansbach, good. Um, basically guys, if you want to max out your regions in terms of like factories, the best way to do it is make sure you actually have a f encourage craftsman button and make sure there's like a high amount of capitalism in it and they'll just build your factories quickly, which is what I'm trying to do because we have to like, I have to mac min maximize some of these factories. Actually, let's remove focus here and let's put it in Bohemia because like this would be a much better province to have. Um, region wise, by the way, we should probably start like upgrading our factories. I mean, not factories, are uh, uh, fort levels, because obviously we go to war a ton. Uh, if it hasn't if it hasn't been, if there's one thing you have not realized about the Austrian nation, is that we go to war 
about every two years or three years. It's it's usually about average. I mean, it sometimes varies due to depending on how badly I lost a war, but generally that's about the rule. All right, and right now we need to kind of did I click it? No, I didn't. All right, we need to kind of like we need to seriously like upgrade our our forts, man. Like we need to make sure that our forts are level two forts to the point to the point where when we try to invade somewhere, we won't get instantly crushed by other nations. All right, you guys go right here, and then we also wait. Is, are you a horseman? Egypt, Tweed Sicily demand. Is everyone gonna be like jerks right now? Oh my goodness. Okay, we will not back down. If you try to, oh please tell me you're not calling me into the. Uh, Sicily, why? I, I didn't even. I'm not even. I just want to declare war on Serbia. I don't want to get involved in any of this. Like, seriously. I don't want to. Okay? But if I have to, I, I will. Let me go combine most of my, like, fleet into a good sized army. Sheesh. Let me go see. Is there any ships over here I have to get? Yeah, it's like one. Okay. Two Sicilies wants to fight me. Let's go do this. I don't have any kind of complaints beating up a little Sicilian people. Um, the the navy's not gonna be much. I guarantee it. Let's see. Uh, six four zero. That should not be anything of note. Uh, they do actually. They do have a decent amount of good ships, but that's only be. But then again, I haven't really built all my men of war. Like I'm slowly turning out my men of war. But we're gonna keep a. Basically, what I'm gonna do, guys, in this war is I'm basically gonna keep my soldiers there. Um, let's see. Egypt seems to be handling itself pretty well. I don't think I will have to actually send in any troops to go help them over here. Um, against two Sicilies, though, uh, I'll go send an army in in a second to go deal with them. Yeah, because obviously these guys are going to be annoying. Like, these guys are going to be just annoying. And the sad part is about this whole entire thing is that we probably can't take anything from them. Okay, shift mining... Laissez-faire, protectionism, I don't really care, just do whatever you want. Not really, don't ever do whatever you want, because that usually does go against what I want you to do, but uh, feel free to do close to everything you want, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't feel comfortable enough to go send in my bad armies. Hey, Pope, would you give me military access? Oh, thank you, Pope. You guys are such nice people. Okay, go send my soldiers down here. We're gonna go start. We're gonna scout out the position of the two twin Sicilies before we officially like go to strike them back. Um, yeah, make sure you destroy that army. Just saying, I don't want to deal with anything too stupid right there. All right, allow annexation. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, declare war on the Serbians. This has been like a day one thing I've wanted to do. Gosh dang. All right. Let's go, let's go destroy these guys. And since Russia is no longer a great power, they should not enter in on this. And since no one else likes the Serbians, this should be an easy war! Oh, oh wait, oh wait. Moldavia is trying to think that it's people. Do they think that they're people right now? Yeah, they think that they're people. Oh, that's so cute. Like, that's so cute. Oh, uh, man. Okay, well, I'll siege that down. Um, in terms of how many soldiers the... Uh, Genevians have. I'm pretty sure it's about like, oh my goodness, it, even fully deployed, I have way more soldiers than they do. So what most, what most likely I am going to do, just stay right here. What most likely I'm going to do is just keep my soldiers right here, wait until I have these two guys, and then I'm gonna go send them in. Oh, there's my other unit, because this war should be over really quickly. Like I shouldn't say really, really quickly, but I should say really, 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 really quickly. Because, look at this, we're almost, they're almost done. Presenting the air! We have an air again, people! Great moments, let's see, let's see. Can we finish this war, can we finish this war before the episode ends? Come on, come on, go, 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 go! Come on, soldiers, siege! Siege like you've never sieged before! Okay, by the way, don't hunt down rebels right now, we don't need you guys. Okay, come on, come on, come on, tax reform! Yes! Okay, we totally need more taxes! Or less taxes, or... I don't know? Question taxes? <laughs> Um, uh, okay, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go,
And we can go into corporate industrialism where we get benefits to commerce and industry industrialization. I'm not going to go into that right now. Oh, no, 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 come on. No, no, no. I am definitely... We're going to finish this up before... before. Ah, no. Stop. Stop. Don't you dare go any further. There we go. Proceed. There we go. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.